Hey, what's going on, everybody? Got another video here with some shill bidding I want to show everybody that was caught and somebody sent to me. It was so, you can't even, I'm just saying, it's just so easy to see it, you can't even believe it. Um, but it was something that was caught very, very well, and I'll get into that here in a second. <clears throat> I had to pile a lot of different video ideas on the side because PSA is raising prices March 1st. Nobody knows what that entitles, if there's going to be limits, or what there may be. So I had to push out a lot of PSA, hence why this is still actually laying up here. Hopefully that light's not on still, is it? No, okay. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I talk to myself every now and then. But I think I pushed out something close to 10 packages over the last two weeks, uh, just getting stuff together. and One big uh, ultra-modern last night, I think it was like 115 cards. It was insane. And that's after going through, looking at them all, saying, yay, nay, do I really want to do it? So some of the videos that I want to do are a little bit behind schedule right now because of that, but I'm going to get them out. So, and also this one will be out tomorrow, which is Wednesday. I'm trying to get the days in my head here. And so you guys will have until Thursday, I believe it said 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, to get on the uh, 3,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you haven't left a comment yet, Make sure you go and look for that video. It's like three or four back by now. Maybe a little more. I'm not sure I can. Alrighty. Let me grab some stuff up here real quick. And we will begin looking at this shield bidding. As always, guys, I come out with different types of videos. Uh, not just all bad stuff like shield bidding and... Uh, scammers and stuff there are some box openings that i did there will be out this week but if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button we're closing in on four thousand. i think we're like 700 and some away and i i would guess probably another month or two at the most we'll have the four thousand. i'm going to do a little bit different with that giveaway too so make sure you hit the subscribe button plus you get all the up-to-date info that i've been pushing out and it could be anything i mean you go back search the videos i just jibber-jabber about about anything that I've learned to hopefully help everybody out somewhat with uh, different pieces of the hobby, investing, scammers, shill bidding, all kind of stuff onto it. All right, so let me go back to this screen here. All right, so I'm going to show you guys, once I find it here, this Jalen Brown, remember four Jalen Browns, and here's the uh, Morants, all right? So these are active. They both end on one Saturday, one Sunday, all right? Just to show you, guy hitting breaks, 170. All right. Now we're going to go, this is his sold stuff. Same exact guy. And we come down here. Look, here's John Morant. Sold for $66, right? Same exact things listed again. Let's go down a little bit further. $101. Whoa. I think that was it. Um, I think it's the third relistment of it. Yeah. So, click on this. And this starts where it starts popping up, especially if you are a watcher or bidder. Like, why is this now up three times straight? Go into bids. Dude with three right here, right? Click that. 100% bid activity. 100%. Draw your own conclusion there. I think this one here was, oh, yeah, that's a legit person. I mean, he was bidding on this a lot. But this one here is the one with the 9-3 on to it. That's, you know, somebody shield bid 100% across the board. So that's the one that sold for $101, all right? Get back one more here. I know, Pug. Pug's like, I can't believe it. These people out there. Just trying to get over on the system. She calls them bad people. I have other choice words. All right. Three feedback. Right? Sold for $66. What do you know? Same exact numbers. Now, to me, if I had somebody win and they didn't pay, i block them. So kind of, kind of weird there, you know? All right. Let me go back. One more. All right, let's look for those Jalen Browns now. Because there's one that's active. Look, Jalen Brown sold right here, February 22nd. A lot of three. Go back. Oh, this is a lot of four now. Hold on. 
That's odd. There was something else on here. Oh, Jalen Brown, a lot of three. I, he might have taken one down. I don't know offhand, but there's two Jalen Brown lots of three on here. Check this out. This dude has two feedback, right? 100% 940. Kind of odd, right? But it doesn't match up with the other person's numbers. Come up here. There's a two right there. Oh, because somebody actually won this and paid for it. That's why. Check that out. He's, this person here is purposely bidding this stuff up. This guy actually paid for him. You can tell right there. But that's why the other ones is a four. But when you start going through this guy's stuff, there's two different accounts that are bidding his stuff up with 100% ratio. The bids are just strictly on that account. So it really starts making you wonder when you start scrolling through this guy's stuff. Oh, there's a three. Let's see. Oh, 34, 10, 100. If he's not happy, he's outbidding himself and just relisting this stuff against some uh, opposing accounts. And Grant, like I said, now, if somebody was doing that to me, I would have had him blocked and banned. Instead, he just keeps doing it. As you can see, this is his active listings. Those are the same exact ones because the winner of the last one was himself. Where's the $66 one? There it is. There's the $66 one. This is the same person, 3410100. So if he's jacking up his own prices on this stuff, in my own professional opinion onto it, it's messed up. But when you start going through a lot of his stuff onto here, there's that three again. Look, up to $300, same exact thing, pushing them bids up. You go through all the auctions on here like this, you're going to start seeing a common thing onto it. I didn't really look at the bows. Let's take a look at bow. What do you think? The three or two will be on here. Yep, it's going to be the two this time. Look at that, 49 and 100. And he knows what he's doing on here by doing this because he just keeps pushing up the price to where he's getting what he thinks is a fair value or it's ending and he's forgetting about it and somebody else is outbidding. Overall, I think it's very shady doing this. Um, I'm not a fan of people doing this to begin with because you're not, if you don't have... I guess you could say the right way of doing your eBay auctions by having everything outright and trusting the system and taking a chance, that's what an auction is, a chance, then use it as buy it now is on there and accept offers until you get what you want onto it. This here, by doing it, it does kind of manipulate the price. I would have to go look to see what real auction selling are on it to see, you know, where the price range is, was it shield up above or whatever it may be. But... This is a guy you stay far, far away from because the whole time frame he's running auctions, when it starts getting close, he's bidding his own stuff up onto here, which, again, I'm not a fan of. Oops. My bad. I'll just pull up the thing again here for you. Where's the Marantz? So, yeah, hitting breaks, 170 positive feedback. But I'm sure a lot of his feedback... Let's see if he left himself feedback or not. That'll be interesting. Hmm. He might be. I don't know. I just see the twos and threes. You can't really click on this stuff. But I'd have to really go in there and look. Although this is what catches it here. Check this out. That matches with that. Matches with that. Same, same exact listings. So it makes you really, really think he was doing this looks like a long time before, too. I'm not sure. But be careful out there, guys. When you start getting into eBay stuff and you're doing auctions, always start checking this stuff. Because if you're not, you could really end up getting into a bidding war with the actual seller on another account. And you want to really pay attention because... It's an auction. It's a chance that you can either get it for less or it goes up for more. You never know because there could be a bidding war between collectors on stuff out there. 
But just stay safe out there and all that. I do appreciate people sending me stuff like this because this here was like very, very easy to go in and look at and figure out offhand. Was there shield bidding going on? Yes. Can I prove it's him? No, because you can't really go against it. But when you look at the 100% onto it, it makes you think, hmm, is it the same guy? Because like I said, those two people won other auctions. If I had somebody didn't pay me, I'm blocking them because I don't ever have to deal with it again. And that's just me. I block them. So makes it interesting just to see where it's at onto there and stuff like that. So hopefully everybody's starting to really pick up the shill bidding stuff onto it. I'm going to try not to like post a whole ton of stuff on shill bidding. But this here was something different that somebody showed me. And I, you know, it's something we really didn't touch on. Seeing the multiple auctions of the same exact thing over and over again. And you can start figuring it out long run. By clicking in there and looking and see what's the percentage this person's bidding on this person's auctions. And at the same time frame, was it a no pay? Or was it somebody that he knew bidding it up or himself bidding it up on there, you know? Alrighty, everybody. That's it for this video. I will see you guys on the next one. And the next video that I'm actually working on is really interesting. And it's going to go in depth. I'm not going to point any fingers at anybody and stuff onto it. But there's people, I'm sure you guys know, that weigh packs and boxes of cards. But I want to get a little bit more in detail onto it. Because there's been certain things that have been seen, but it's never been proven. But it just gives you an idea when you're going places buying loose boxes. Whether it's your local hobby store. Because you know, you know, honestly, at this time in... With the market being where it is, you don't know who you can trust out there. So you might have a great LCS, think they're great, and then all of a sudden things start clicking. You're like, wait a minute here. I'm not buying that box. But I'm going to get into that on another video. And same with packs and buying loose packs on eBay and all that stuff too. So be on the lookout for that video. It's going to be really interesting. I want to see a lot of people's thoughts on to it as well too. So until next time, everybody, stay safe out there. Thank you, as always, for the support. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. See y'all later.